I'm Richard Fletcher. I'm here with Aston Villa and Express Star reporter Matt Mayer. Matt, uh, it's the playoff semi-final, huge game against local rivals West Brom. First leg being at Villa Park on yeah. Saturday, of course. Uh, we spoke to Dean Smith here at Bodymore Heath, and how's he feeling leading up into this game? Well, it's typical Dean Smith, really. Uh, pretty relaxed. Um, he's always. I think that's one of his, his, his greatest strengths, and it has certainly helped. Helps him this season um, with Villa, with, 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 the, with the roller coaster season's been. You know, he does never gets up or never gets two up or or two down. He's a very cool customer, um, and yeah, he's he's kind of never not expecting him to say anything too dramatic today. And, and sure enough, he hasn't said something too dramatic. I think he's very keen for this uh, build-up to the game to be as normal as possible for the players. Um, Villa has done exceptionally well in recent weeks with just, you know, kind of taking things relatively steady, um, not making too much out of things. So I think, you know, it, it's kind of, he's trying to make it as bus business as usual as, uh, as possible. Now, I'll be obviously finish the league one position above Villa. Yep. Uh, but if you're looking at the form guide, of course, a lot of the pundits out there would make Villa favourites because obviously they went on that 10 game uh, winning run. Uh, but Dean Smith has spoken in there and still yeah. still suggested that Albion are the favourites despite the recent form. Yeah, and kind of what you'd expect him to say. I think it's it wouldn't shock me if Jimmy Shan says something very similar at, uh, at Albion. You know, it's nobody wants to. You know, kind of give the opposition something they can pin up on the on the on the dressing room wall. Certainly, uh, you know, Dean Smith's got a point as well. I mean, Albion did finish above Villa in the table. They were in the top six for most of the season. Villa didn't beat them in in you know in, in two games. Or there was a bit of controversy over the first one with Joe Rodriguez's handball. Um, but but yeah, um, you know, I think a lot of pundits might see Villa as, as favourites. But I think anybody who's kind of Watch the two teams this season. Would say that, the, the, and, and the fact this is Derby, mm. um, you know, you'd say that there probably isn't going to be a huge amount in these games. Um, and Villa, I, you know, Villa, I think, are determined. You know, will, will show West Brom, you know, the, the respect they deserve. I mean, Villa didn't beat uh, any teams above them that finished above them in the table, um, and I think they know they're in for a tough game. Um, so while there is kind of a among the, the, the fan bases, there was a lot of positivity on the Villa side, and perhaps not so much positivity on the Albion mm -hmm. side. I think, you know, there's a mutual respect between the teams, and, and, and you know, I think, you know, I, I think this game, this tie is a really hard one to call. Um, it doesn't surprise me that Dean Smith is saying mm -hmm. that the, you know, um, that, that, that the opposition are, are, are favourites. Um, uh, but, but I think, you know, they're, they're two fairly well matched teams. And that's it, the playoffs are lottery, isn't it? Quite often, how often do we see teams in great form um, and then they get to the playoffs and maybe it doesn't come off? It's, it's well, almost like a penalty is, shootout, it's, it's, isn't it's it? It's cup football, you yeah. know, it's not league football anymore. Um, and, and, and when it's cup football, you know, events can, you know, can conspire against you. I mean, Sheffield Wednesday a couple of seasons ago, our three players go off injured in the in the first half. And we spoke to Neil Taylor down here early in the week. He, obviously, Villa's left back, and he played for Swansea in 2011. Was sent off 84 seconds into the first leg. Um, you know, those kind of things can happen. Injuries. You know, it it is a bit of a, a shootout. Obviously, you've got the two legs. And I think after the events of the last few days elsewhere, no one's yes. going no to think no. that the game is over, whatever the scoreline at Villa Park on Saturday. Um, but but yeah, I mean, there's, it, 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 you know, really any, anything can happen. I think I think both teams have have reasons to be optimistic. Both teams have reasons to be confident. But I think also both teams have, have reasons to be wary about their opponents. They can, you know, they've, they've both got you know good, strong attacking players. You know, I think I think Villa. Perhaps you know have been involved in more high-intensity games of late, and their battle to get into the playoffs. You know they've, they've got that kind of that their mentality is very strong. Um, but this will be their toughest challenge yet. I don't think there's there's kind of any arguments um, mm. and any arguments there. You know anything that's been put in their path the last two months, they've managed to overcome. But I think that you know this is this is something else now. Um, there's a lot of players here who were play in the playoffs last season. Um, that will stand them in good stead, um, but uh, but they know they're in for a battle. Now, unlike Derby, for instance, Villa had their playoff position secured in advance of the final game of the season, and yeah. it gave them that opportunity to rest players, rest key players, yeah. um, which means you know they've got a fresh, fit squad heading into, yeah, heading yeah. into the game. Yeah, he's got you know Dean Smith. Villa, Villa are at their strongest in terms of fitness, and they have been all season, um, you know, and. They've been had a, had a lot of troubles, kind of, with injuries right from the start of the season. 
uh, with, with play, players going out. Steve, Steve Bruce had it, you know, D Dean Smith, um, you know, has had to have obviously three months without Jack Grealish, Axel Tuanzebe, James Chester's been out, Tommy Elphick. Um, you know, that it's not been, you know, a smooth season in any sense, but there is a, there is a feeling that Villa is certainly at the strongest they have been uh, all season, you know, at, at the business end, and that can only stand them in good stead. But the fact is, you know, I think this is a this is a very, you know, high quality, um, you know, four team lineup in the playoffs this year, oh, course, and, yeah. and any of these four teams, you know, will feel they can win it. I thought last season. Villa and Fulham were clearly two better teams yeah. than Middlesbrough and, and Derby. Yeah, and, 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 and Fulham were a better team than Villa. Mm. But I think this year, you know, any one of these four teams will feel they can they can win this. Now the two league games against West Brom, uh, they, Villa didn't win either of them, albeit no. being very unlucky at the game of the Hawthorns with that handball at the end. Um, in terms of the Albion side, who will Dean Smith be looking at as potential dangers? Going into the going well, into the I think the front, the front two of the you know Gal and Rodriguez, you know the best strike force in the in the division. Um, you know they can. Uh, Jay, Jay Rodriguez has obviously scored two goals against Villa this season. Uh, has done a lot of damage. Dwight Gale scored at the Hawthorns. Um, you know there's also a lot of players. Jake Livermore, Matt Phillips. There's a, there's a lot of that mm. team that were playing for Albion in the Premier League last season. That you know have, have, have done well in the Premier League. So. I think you, uh, you know, the, the, there's the, Albion have a lot of weapons. So too do Villa. Um, you know, this 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 has all the makings of, 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 a, of a really, you know, of, of a really great cup semi-final um, because both teams have, you know, have, have attacking threat. There's an element of, of vulnerability about both teams. I would say that actually, I think Villa's defence is slightly stronger uh, at this point. But um, but yeah, I mean um, it's it's a really tough one to predict. You know, I think while you know certain kind of pundits from outside the region would be saying you know that uh, perhaps said that Villa Villa are favourites. I think most of us that are kind of on the patch feel that this this is going to be very close, and you know it's uh, tough to pick a winner. So Villa have obviously got the first leg at home. We've seen in the Champions League this week that that doesn't always necessarily. You know, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing, but do you think uh, Dean Smith will sort of go all guns blazing in the first leg? No, send, well, I think, I, think it, I think it's an opportunity to, for Villa to, uh, you know, to set the tone. Yeah. The first leg, um, you know, that they, they, they have been playing very well at home, um, you know, and, and, and they do tend to, to, to go at teams from the off. So it's all, you know, Albion have got to, got to be, will, will be well, sure they'll be perfectly aware, you know, aware that that's going to be the case. And it might be a question of how well they withstand that. But like you said earlier, I mean, um, whatever happens on Saturday, I think, uh, you know, barring a remarkable scoreline, I don't think anyone's going to think that this ties over, um, yeah. you know, going into the second leg, because anything can happen. So, huge game on Saturday. How do you see, how do you see it going? What would your prediction be? As I've said, I think it's a tough one to. Uh, I think it's a tough one to predict. Um, you know, um, I think it's difficult to back against Villa at the minute. You know, I've been watched them in recent weeks because because of how good they've been, um, and um, you know they they clearly got a lot of momentum. I, d I do think Albion, you know, are, are probably better than, than a lot of you know kind of perhaps their supporters yeah. feel at the moment. Yeah. So I mean, I, I do I do fancy Villa to win. The first leg, but I don't think it'll be particularly. I don't think it'll be a, you know a, as, we, as we've said. I don't, I don't think it'll be a tie defining margin uh, by any means. But 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 I, th I do I do think Villa you know have a good chance of winning that that Saturday's leg uh, at home. Uh, but I do think we'll you know we'll go with the Hawthorns with the tie very very much still in the balance. And one thing we know for sure is the place is going to be absolutely bouncing. It's going to be a full house, local derby. It's, it's all set up to be quite a clash, isn't it? Yeah yeah no certainly certainly. Um, no, it's uh, yeah. I mean, I think you know there is a feeling of togetherness around the club at the minute. You know, there's there's, there's a feeling that uh, you know that, that that hasn't really been around Villa for a long mm. time. Well, they've had you know they decline over the over the course of the decade. So you know that there is a, there is a feeling that you know that, 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 that you know potentially the good times are coming back. But so much rests on these you know these mm. these next few games. Well, hopefully from Villa's case. 
for Villa's point of view, three games, you know, potentially this semi-final, you know, so many futures at stake uh, still. So, you know, it's there's, there's a lot to play for, there's a lot on the line. Um, you know, it's extraordinary in some respects because Villa looked way out of it, you know, in, only two months ago. But now they're there, now they've got this opportunity, they've really got to they've really got to try and take it. Got to take it. It's going to be quite an occasion Saturday at Villa Park. Matt, Nathan, Judah and of course Matt Wilson at West Bromwich Albion will all be there. For all the build-up to this one, please log on to expressandstar.com.